Peace and blessings kings and queens and welcome back to my channel. I first want to thank you for clicking on the video because you didn't have to, but as always, I am so glad that you did. So upon looking at my new baby, first glance guys, you probably don't notice anything that's off, right? Well, last night, my cat took it upon himself to attack my baby. Um, I had the baby in the bed with me on my bed and um, I took a shower and when I came back this is what I noticed you see guys he vindictively attacked this reborn doll this baby and I have some real strong reservations about that. There's his little fur or whatever. And, you know, I guess it's my fault. I can say it's my fault. I didn't think he would attack this baby because I, you know, leave him around my other dolls and he don't bother them. But this particular baby, and I noticed when I first got her and I only had her the weekend, like three days guys I noticed he was sniffing around her and just kind of laying up against her and he wouldn't do that with my other dolls which are vinyl and like I said I took a shower last night and when I came out this is the evidence this is the result of him attacking my sweet little baby <clears throat> and I know cats are cats you know and I'm not mad at him I'm 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 hurt I think more than anything because um she had such a sweet face and she still does and I um saw a couple of videos where their um you know full silicone dolls for whatever reason were damaged and you know i stay true to what i say i think imperfections in dolls are you know it gives them character um real babies have injuries they have scars if they get hurt if they fall or something like that um so you know, I view this as this giving my baby more character. Um, but guys, I am really hurt behind this. Like, as if it was really my child. You know, my real baby getting injured or attacked like this by some animal. And although he's not wild, um, he is domesticated. But at the beginning of the year, he went missing for like two months. So he was out in the streets for two months um so god only knows how he survived or what he had to do to survive um but yeah guys i don't know what it is about this silicone baby that attracts him so much that he literally stuck claw and bit into this doll i am hurt on such a deep level behind this guys I mean, like I said, I just, I just, I just got her. I only had her since this Friday, um, August 12th. I don't change her into her cute little outfit. And I was getting ready to do a video um, of her and her sisters um, getting them dressed in these cute little outfits that I bought them. Um, but, you know, I was just so devastated that I couldn't continue. Um, guys, my sweet, sweet little baby. I mean, you know, I could try to research trying to fix these or plug them. But like I said, I believe that this makes them more realistic. It's sad. You know, it's a sad you know realistic but i believe that 
you know, imperfections make them more real. Because things do happen to your babies, you know? Um, and this is just so unfortunate, guys. It is so unfortunate. Um, but that's all I really wanted just to jump on and vent and just tell you about what happened. So, guys, I mean, have you guys noticed how your animals treat your dolls if they treat them any kind of way if they're indifferent um is it a difference in how they treat your your full silicone babies um, as opposed to how they treat your vinyl babies um let me know down in the comments what kind of um response your pets give to your dolls um, I can see now that I'm going to have to keep her far away from my cat. Um, because I would hate for him to attack her again. Um, I don't know how much the camera is picking up. Um, but it's pretty bad, guys. I am thankful it's not as, it's not as worse as it could have been. But these punctures and everything are pretty bad. Um, well, that's my time. I just wanted to jump on and tell you guys this. So, um, until next time, guys, be blessed.